What's your name, buddy? Are you here to buy some medicine? Where are your mom and dad? Hmm. Are you lost? No, I'm not. Um, my name's Ayu, and I'm here because... Hey there, Chi-Chi. Hi, Gray. What's going on? Hi, Traveler and Paimon. Ah, uh, you've actually come at the perfect time. This little boy seems to have gotten himself lost. I think he must be new to the city. Probably wandered away from his mm. parents and... No, listen to me. I'm not the one who's lost. It's my dad. Your dad? How did a fully grown man manage to get lost in the Leela Harbor? Well, my dad's always been kind of forgetful. In the past, he was just a little slow to react sometimes. But I'm hmm. worried that it's getting more serious. So, what about your mom? She went out a few days ago to gather some herbs for my dad, but she still hasn't come back. Meanwhile, my dad's been getting worse and worse. I remember that the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs a clinic in Chingsa Village during the lantern ride. So I thought, why don't I take dad to Leeway Harbor to see him there? When we got to the city gate, I took a moment to ask the Nolas guards for directions to the pharmacy. And then, when I turned back around, my dad was gone. I asked the Nolas guys to go find him, but he said they won't be mm. able to send that many people. So then I figured, maybe I could ask some other people in the city to help. You came to the right place. We're thrilled at finding people. And we're right travelers. Chongshan can help. She has a good sense of smell, like a dog. Hey, <sighs> who's talking about me behind my back? Chongshan, Chi Chi meant that as a compliment. There's no need to be upset. Hello, child. You mentioned that you were looking for the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy. How might we be of service? Do you have a talking snake? Oh! Are you, you Uncle Baiju? Uncle Baiju? Mm -hmm. Shang Shang, now's not the time. My dear boy, could you tell me more about your father's condition, as much as you can recall? Yes, Uncle... Uh, Dr. Baiju. I see. And your family lives near Chingsa Village, you say? I visit patients there frequently, mm -hmm. but I don't recall ever seeing you or your parents. Uh-huh. My mom doesn't like meeting other people, especially during lantern night. She always tells me to just stay at home and keep my dad company. Is that so? Are you? By any chance, is your mother's name Jiangli? Whoa, yeah, it is. Do you know my mom, Dr. Baiju? I certainly do. Gwei, Chi Chi, are there any pressing matters in the pharmacy at the moment? I use parents are old acquaintances of mine, so I would very much like to assist with the search. Would the two of you have time to join me? Don't forget us, you. We already told all you that we have. Oh, really? Well, that's wonderful. We are most grateful for your support. Chi Chi and I need to clear up the shop front first, but once that's taken care of, we'll be right out to help you with the search. Very important. Thank you. Then I'll leave you to handle the pharmacy. Traveler, Paimon, mm -hmm. why don't you come with me and Ayu? Let's start by talking to the Millilith guards mm -hmm. at the city mm -hmm. gates, see mm -hmm. if they have an update. Mm -hmm. We searched to the north, but couldn't find anyone who matched the description. Well, that complicates things. And the city folks say there's no sign of them either. We need to start looking further afield. But where are we going to get the people? Excuse me, sirs. Nothing. Have you found out anything about my dad yet? Ah, <sighs> uh, hey there, buddy. Dr. Baiju. What brings you out this way? The boy asked for our help, so we're here to join the search. Mm. Any new developments to update us on? Oh, thank goodness. We were just discussing how we're running out of manpower. As for updates... I'm sorry to say that we've searched the surrounding area thoroughly, but couldn't find anything. The guards at the crossing up ahead said they hadn't seen anyone either, so we don't believe he was heading towards the Boiling Plains. 
but it is possible that he was bound for Luhua Pool. Mm. Luhua Pool? The terrain there can be tricky to navigate. Let's hope he hasn't run into any trouble. You will. Oh, great. We can't thank you enough. Sorry we weren't able to find your dad, buddy. That's okay. Thank you for trying. Dad! Dad, can you hear me? Some funeral parlor does appreciate your patronage, but you needn't hasten the inevitable. Are you all right? Uh, uh, huh? Dad! Hello, pal! My, my, who do we have here? It's the traveler in Paimon, and uh, my worst nightmare. <laughs> I see she still has it one to you. <laughs> Thank you, Director Who, for saving this man. Dad, are you okay? Do you recognize me? It's me, Ayu! Uh, you're... Ayu? Uh, 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 who am I? Your name is Xiao Liang, and you live just west of Chingsa Village. You were supposed to come to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor, remember? Does that jog your memory? Oh, uh, uh, my name is Jia Hyung. Uh, Liyue Harbor? See the doctor? Uh, yes, yes, I'm Jia Hyung, and I need to see the doctor. Wait, uh, why do I need to see the doctor? Uh-oh. He seems in really bad shape. We need to get him back to Bubu Pharmacy right away. Sorry, Hotel. Got a dash. Better go back next time. Oh, hold on a second. You're not seriously thinking of taking him to Bubu Pharmacy in this state, are you? Huh? Why not? What's the problem? Come on, Baju. Don't tell me you haven't noticed it. Didn't your master teach you how to spot the signs? Why do I get the sense that you spotted them right away, but you're planning to use it for your own end? Use what? What are you talking about? Paimon uh, glass. There are traces of god remains in Jialiang's system. Yes, but more importantly, they're on the verge of an outburst. If that happens, the consequences will be unthinkable. I'm sorry. What? <sighs> God. There's no need to worry, Director Who. I have methods of keeping them at bay. It is the sworn duty of all who practice medicine to cure illnesses and save lives. What reason would I have to neglect a patient in need who is right there in front of me? Besides, it was my late master's dying wish to be able to save this patient in particular. Perhaps out of respect for him, you could give me a day's grace so that I have time to treat him? Now you're bringing my great uncle into this? Baiju, just what are you planning this time? Merely to cure this man, nothing more. But of course, if you have any doubt as to my intentions, you are more than welcome to accompany me to Boo Boo Pharmacy and monitor my activities. Oh, really? I thought I was persona non grata at Boo Boo Pharmacy. And you're being unusually generous today. Okay, deal. We're not going to solve anything by keeping Jolly on here. I'm happy to do it your way, but... Only for my great uncle's sake and the travelers, of course. You must be pleased you brought the traveler along. Otherwise, this would have been a much more vexing ordeal. Well, time is of the essence. Mm -hmm. Let's get ourselves back to Boo Boo Pharmacy at once. Blockages within the cardiovascular system. 
reduced blood flow and energy circulation? I see. I suppose this must have caused the cognitive abnormalities. Dr. Baishu, how bad is it? Can you cure him? <laughs> Don't you worry. Baishu's a really great doctor. No, no, no. He's sure to find a way. Isn't that right, Baishu? Aya, do you know when your father first started displaying these symptoms? Um, I'm not sure. He's been like this for as long as I can remember. But it wasn't as bad as this when I was still little. Hmm. So it's been a long time indeed. No, I have a treatment plan in mind. We can start tonight. Mm -hmm. Come and see me again tomorrow morning. I promise that by then, I, you will find his father healthy and lucid again. Thank you, Dr. Baishu. Thank you so much. If you still have any misgivings, Director Who, please feel free to hang around for as long as you wish. However, it would be best if you step outside this room. A doctor must be able to focus when treating a patient. Any distractions heighten the risk of complications. Yes, of course, absolutely. I'll just go and look at the flowers or something. But I will be back in an instant at the first sign that something's a mess. See you tomorrow, Baishu and Chow Chow. <sighs> Bye for now, everyone. Are you ready, Baishu? <laughs> ready as I'll ever be. I'm used to it by now. Come on, let's get started. <sighs> well, that ends well, huh? You know? I was kind of curious after hearing Bob you mention those people <laughs> from his past. What do you think they were like? Yeah, you must be curious too, right? Let's go see what we can find out while Bob is busy treating on your dad. While I'm idling time on admiring the scenery, the spectacle snake bedecked docks doing the scene. Hello, oh, you busy bees, and what do you have to discuss with the funeral director today? Actually, don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm. From the looks on your faces, you've got some questions for me. Uh, guilty as charged. So, um, we were just a little mm. curious about Baiju's master. What was he like? Oh, and also, how come you and Baiju could tell so quickly that Xia Liang had got remains in his system? Uh huh. I thought I told you once before. Wang Sheng's funeral parlor was first founded to fight back against the vengeful wrath of gods defeated in war. <laughs> well, it is a death deal too by this point. Long story short, in the ancient world, death got wrapped up. Our ancestors started purifying the air and burning the bodies of the deceased to guard the border between life and death. These days, we don't deal with the wrath of the gods anymore, but all the relevant know-how is still passed down to each generation, so we can identify gods' remains when we see them. Okay, I get it now. Wait, so how did I learn to stop them? Almost certainly from his master, who was also my great uncle. Baiju's master was my grandpa's younger brother, <sighs> a former deputy director at Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Wow, fancy that! Huh. Uh, so, if he was from Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor, how did he end up with Baiju's master? According to my grandpa, he and my great uncle once went traveling together when they were young. They mm. ended up at Chen Yu Vale, where they met a pharmacist. That pharmacist must have cast some sort of spell on my great uncle. Because after that encounter, he suddenly announced he wanted to leave the family business and go mm. practice medicine instead. My grandpa had a huge argument with him. But he couldn't convince them to stay. So my grandpa inherited the funeral parlor, while my great uncle stayed in Chenya Vale to practice medicine. So he never spoke to each other again. Funeral director to doctor is a pretty big career change. Kinda hard to imagine. 
Why did it drive a wedge between them and the rest of their lives? That seems a bit extreme. If he had just become a regular doctor, there would have been no issue. After all, the Wumsham Funeral Parlor wasn't unlike a regular...
you called? Gets time on every time. Uh, are all Adepti in the habit of materializing out of thin air like this? Well, this is unexpected. Huh? It's you. Baiju of Boo Boo Pharmacy. I do believe I've had the pleasure before. The Lantern Rite, when we met briefly, I was unaware of your true identity. I... Must apologize for the discourtesy. Huh? You two already know each other? Our paths have crossed once before. I sense the presence of evil spirits. Is this why you called me? Hmm. <sighs> so someone has been concocting demonic poison. Too often, fervent desires drive mortals to abandon all regard for their own safety. It is lamentable. I now know what you seek. It is true that a god's remains are buried beneath the foundations of Chinksa village. A vile monster known as the Chu once wrought havoc over this land, before it was subdued by Rex Lapis. The land was finally cleansed of poison when Rex Lapis used statues in his likeness to seal the serpent's remains. Chinksa village was founded some time after that. The seal is still mostly intact. If the Chu is the source, then it must be some of its blood leaking from deep underground. However, its aura is faint and barely detectable. You will need to investigate further to identify the location of the leak. I do not like to intervene against mortals unless absolutely necessary. But when demonic forces are involved, things can spiral out of control. If that happens, be sure to call my name again. Hmm. Hmm? Nothing. I do not wish to sway decisions that are mortals to make, but... Immortality may not be the blessing that you imagine it to be. I shall treasure your words of instruction, Master Adeptus. Farewell. What a strange Adeptus. Rather different from the way I remember them. That's you for ya! And thanks to him, we finally got some concrete info to go off of. If the god remains are leaking from underground, Jiang Li must be paying a visit to a subterranean cave on her herb gathering trips. Hmm. If we can find the cave. <laughs> Ma Master! Master! There's a problem! Gray? Did you run all the way from Boo Boo Pharmacy? What happened? Don't panic. Just catch your breath and tell me everything. It's... it's Jialyang. He was... he was fine one minute and then he suddenly took a turn for the worse. Already? How? Based on past experience, he should have been fine for the next three days at least. It seems that my worst fears have been confirmed. Everyone, back to Boo Boo Pharmacy now. Dad, what's wrong? Dad? Don't be scared. Dr. Baishu will be back soon. How is he doing? Dr. Baishu, you're back. My dad was doing fine earlier. But then he suddenly started coughing up blood. Now he can't even get a full word out anymore. When Gui left, he was still conscious. But now... Gui, please take Jia Liang to the back room and prepare for treatment. Yes, of course. Don't worry, Ayu. I will cure your father. How are you feeling, Dad? Are you still hurting anywhere? You're not going to suddenly collapse again, are you? Ah, much better, Ayu. I'm feeling much better. In fact, I can't explain it, but somehow I feel even better than usual. Hmm. Wait, where's Dr. Baiju? I still haven't had a chance to thank him. Seems he moved me here before I came too. Master said he needed to take a quick rest and asked me to bring you out of the treatment room. 
He hasn't emerged yet, so he must still be resting. Oh, really? Well, he must be tired from treating me for two nights in a row. <sighs> I don't know how I can begin to repay him for saving my life. I'll have to discuss it properly with Jiang Li once we find her. Hmm. Speaking of which, uh, has there been any word of her whereabouts yet? No, the Adventurer's Guild hasn't gotten back to me yet. I'll go check with them again in a bit. I'll come with... <sighs> Don't forget what Master said. You're still not out of the woods yet, Jia Liang. I strongly suggest that you stay and rest at Boo Boo Pharmacy for now. I can accompany Ayu to the Adventurer's Guild. <sighs> I suppose you're right. I'll have to rely on you this time. Though, on the bright side, this means I can thank Dr. Baiju in person once he's finished resting. Traveler, Baiju hasn't shown his face ever since he went in to treat Tia Leung again. Do you think he... Huh? Hey, wait up! Uh, huh? You're finally awake? <sighs> that was far too risky. Even with me here to help you balance your chi. There was no time. I had no other choice. In any case, it was not completely without benefit to myself. I managed to learn something. Jiang Li's design is quite brilliant. She makes numerous innovations that I can learn from. Alas, if only there wasn't a catch. So... How much longer do you think Baiju's gonna nap for? They've been outside waiting for you the whole time while you were asleep. Shall we at least go and show our faces? <sighs> All right. Surely he hasn't. There's no way he could have just... Who's talking behind our backs again? Ah! Baiju! Changsheng! Of course. There's no need to be concerned. I merely had to transfer a rather large amount of life force on this occasion. But, with Changsheng's help, I will recover in time. Jia Liang seemed fine yesterday. Why did he need more life-saving treatment again so soon? I... made an error in my initial diagnosis. Jia Liang is in fact suffering from more than one ailment. And as a result, his life force depleted at a greater rate than I had anticipated. What? You mean, even if you got all the poison out of him, he'd still be sick? Yes. But more pertinently, the poison in Jia Liang's system is there precisely because it is being used to manage his underlying medical condition. Jia Liang has a rare congenital heart condition, and ongoing treatment is essential to maintaining healthy functioning of his heart meridian. Left untreated, it puts the patient at risk of coughing up blood and fainting, and in the longer term, causes irreversible damage to the internal organs. Though it was created from God Remains, this formula is not a poison in Jia Liang's case. Rather, it's his medication. Had he not taken it all these years, he likely would have died a long time ago. Still, using poison to treat a disease is hardly a viable long-term solution. As time passed, and the poison accumulated in his system, it began to impact his cognition. Moreover, the longer he relied upon this medicine, the more resistant his body became to it. Jiang Li had to concoct ever greater quantities to ensure its continued efficacy, or he could have still perished at any moment. That explains why Ayu said his dad has been giving worse, and why his mom went off to gather herbs. God remains are extremely dangerous to be around, because humans have no natural defense against them. I shudder to think how many times Jiang Li has exposed herself to them. 
I fear that the situation is just as that adeptus described. In an effort to save Jia Liang's life, Jiang Li has abandoned all regard for her own safety. I never suspected that even Jiang Li would turn to the same path as so many others over the years. Perhaps this is the inevitable course of fate. To sacrifice one's own life to save others. To go beyond human means in order to do the impossible. Whatever the cost may be. Well, I think that it's too early to say with any certainty what fate has in mind. In any case, I have stabilized Jia Liang's condition for now, so our immediate priority should be to get ourselves back to Qingsa village and find out where Jiang Li is. Her regular exposure to god remains over such a long period will have been catastrophic for her health. And given that she's already been missing for several days, I am fearing the worst. It's me, Traveler, Dr. Baiju. Ah, it's Jia Liang! Don't tell Paimon you overheard everything already. Dr. Baiju, please let me come with you. You've already done so much for my family. I can no longer just sit here and watch while you put yourself at risk for Jiang Li's sake. After all, if it wasn't for me... She wouldn't have had to put herself in harm's way in the first place. I know I won't be of much help in battle, but at the very least, I can show you the way. I'm sure I'll be able to remember. I know there's a spot where she says goodbye to me every time she goes to gather her herbs. I'm sure I'll remember. I, I have to remember. <coughs> be careful. If you get too agitated... Your blood pressure and stress levels will rise, putting further pressure on your heart. For your own safety, you should stay here and rest. No! We're out of time! We have to go now. Right now. Before I forget everything again. Hmm. This trip will be extremely dangerous and there is a very real possibility that you will not return from it. Are you sure you're prepared for that? <laughs> I never expected to live this long in the first place. My death is already long overdue, so why should I fear it? There's only one thing I fear now, and that's that I'll forget her again before we manage to find her. Very well. Then follow me. Dr. Baiju? Are you heading out again? Yes. This could be a long one. Could you please prepare a dose of the usual formula? Please add an extra measure of mist grass pollen and one dose each of the ingredients from the third and fifth compartments of my medicine cabinet. I hope it works. Uh, Dr. Baishu, do you mean... Hop to it now, and remember to be careful with the cauldron this time. You don't want to burn yourself again. Okay. 